Let's keep it right there in the Lone Star State. Speaking of heavy rain, invasive poisonous worms are back in Texas, and experts say it's all due to the recent rain and summer-like warmth soaking the state. Yeah, I hope that you're not eating dinner on this one. Mm. Yeah, the Texas Invasive Species Institute says that it's receiving reports of sightings of several of these Texas hammerhead worm flatworms that are not only harmful to animals, but also predators. Now, Director of Research and Education, Ashley Morgan Alvara, joins us with what we need to know. And boy, just seeing that, Ashley, is kind of stunning. What do we know about these invasive Texas hammerhead flatworms? So what we know is, is a lot of what you said just in the title. We know that it's invasive, so it, it does not belong here. We know that it is a predator of earthworms, and we know that it can secrete noxious chemicals that can make our dogs or cats feel sick for a day or two if they try to eat them. Yeah, long and the short of it, you hear hammerhead, shark or yeah. worm, it, it is not good. As you just mentioned, though, they, they secrete this, this chemical and are considered to be very toxic. So what is the main threat here? You mentioned, you know, your animals like dogs. Is this something very serious if they if they get into these? No, not not at all. Um, so the the chemical that they secrete is a defense mechanism. It's basically to deter anything from eating them. So if your dog or cat does try to eat the flatworm, they'll throw it right up. The flatworm will be fine. Your dog or cat will be nauseous for a day or two, and then they'll be fine. And usually they will not try to eat it again. Um, for a human aspect, it could cause like a mild skin irritation, something that could be easily managed with calamine, that's if a, anything. That's a successful uh, defense mechanism. Then. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's doing its job for sure. Ashley, real quick, you know, we've been talking all today and really over the weekend, too, about how places like the Lone Star State have just seen an abundance of rain. How is that contributing to these worms just kind of multiplying? So they're, they're basically getting washed out. They're, they're predators of earthworms, so they dwell in the soil just like earthworms do, and so they're, they're getting flushed out. Normally, people will see them at night, but now, since they can't really go underground, people might be seeing them during the day. And with the warmer weather, they're going to start migrating around more, just like any other invertebrate. And as we mentioned, this is an invasive species. They've been around for a long time, but it's an invasive species that's not supposed to be in that part of the country. How can people help to eradicate them? The main thing is, yes, just trying to eradicate it, remove it. it. It doesn't belong in your garden or in your backyard or anywhere that you find it. It doesn't belong there, especially if you're trying to protect your compost piles or your earthworm population. So it's really important that to seal it in a container or spray it with vinegar if you're not comfortable picking them up. The reason we don't want you to just throw them away in a trash can is they can crawl out. We don't want you to cut them up into pieces. They could grow into more. Mm. So it's really important to physically remove or dissolve it with vinegar when you see it. Interesting. Wow. We will absolutely be all over this. Thank you so much for your insight, Ashley. We really appreciate it. Yeah, Ashley Morgan no Olvera, the Director of Research and Education with the Texas Invasive Species Institute. Thanks for talking with us here on Fox Weather. Thank you, gentlemen. Have a good night. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.